This is typically what I see when I look at home workstations. You can see that she's come off the back of the chair. She's accentuated her extension in her lumbar spine in order to bring her up to a workstation that doesn't fit her. The chair's too low for the desk height, but this desk cannot be modified. We need to have a chair that can elevate. The standard keyboard, which we find here, brings both hands together in front of the body. This creates increased tightness, compression of the chest wall. Her elbows and wrist are in front of her body because they have to reach up to the keyboard. And the right arm, especially because it has to clear the number keys, has to come to midline, which is your breastbone, and cross past that neutral position. The scapulas or shoulder blades must move away from the midline of the back. So you get this anterior rotation or a closing off or a tightness in the chest wall. You can see that her elbow, wrist are lower than the desk height. Each time she strikes the inner key with her little finger, this muscle on the side of her arm must activate. That muscle is actually working short in, in this kind of situation, which is commonly why you have elbow pain at the elbow or at the wrist. The angle that you see here is excessive as the fingers have to come up to the keyboard, again, because the desk is too high. She has placed her monitor on an angle on the left side of the workstation, which has affected her posture in the neck, creating excessive neck rotation to the left of probably 25, 30 degrees. Neck stress to the joints, muscles in the cervical spine, mid-back, and lumbar spine. This is a standard mouse that's commonly seen at home workstations. It fits almost no one's hand. I call this a situation where you have to grab that type of mouse in order to make it not run away. You have to activate the median nerve on the thumb side and the ulnar nerve on the little finger side. You have to grasp the whole mouse in order to use it. The middle finger used for scrolling is used independently to make that job function. When I assess the mouse arm for use, I generally ask the client to bend this finger all the way to the palm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then where did you feel that on your forearm? That indicates that this is a muscle tightness that she's feeling in it. There's 16 tendons that travel down the forearm that cross through the carpal tunnel, that come and attach to the, the distal joints of our fingers so that we uh, can do, perform our keystrokes or operate the mouse. If she would have pointed to the carpal tunnel, that would indicate to me a possibility that these flexor tendons are sticking to each other and not gliding uh, as, as good as what we'd want to see through this area. But it is suggesting right now that she does have some forearm tightness from doing that activity. Over time in sitting in workstations like that, normally um, workers will have low back pain, neck pain, bilateral shoulder pain, usually more the right elbow and right hand and can have numbness and tingling all the way down their arm. I'm Kathleen Amwake, occupational therapist, creator and facilitator of the Mod Solution Systems. Do something healthy today that will positively impact your tomorrow.